Welcome back, everybody. Hope you had an outstanding fall break. We are excited to have you back on campus, whether it's virtually or in the building as we begin this second quarter. So as we get started with the quarter and the day, want to go through and just review some procedures and practices to help keep everybody safe and so that everybody is on the same page as we get this quarter started. So without further ado, let's let's get started. First, we are going to ask that while you're in the building and you, when you're in classes, you have your mask on at all time. Uh, we will have scheduled mask breaks throughout the day. So your, your teachers will take you outside of the building. You'll have an opportunity to kind of spread out and take your mask down for a, a moment or two, and then we'll get you back into class. But basically, when you're on campus, your mask needs to be worn at all times. When you are at lunch, though, you are able to take down your mask while you are eating lunch. But we appreciate you. Uh, helping keep everybody safe by wearing your mask when you're in the building and in class. So thank you, Vipers. Next, we are having you do, and, and you have already done this, and you should have received an email each day before uh, the school day starts. You'll get an email giving you a link to complete a daily health screening. Uh, this is an opportunity for, for you to just indicate if you're uh, feeling good or if, if you're not. And you'll only get this if you are coming on campus on a specific day. So if you're set to come on campus on Mondays and Thursdays because you're part of the Viper Black schedule, that's when you'll get this email. And that's when you have to do the daily health screener. When you're off campus, though, you don't have to do the, the screener and you won't get emailed uh, a reminder. So just a reminder before you step foot on campus each day, make sure that you take care of that daily health screener. Um, as we're in the, the classes and in the building and as we're walking through the halls, just remember we are trying to uh, practice social distancing. So please, as you're moving from place to place, we're going to try to limit congregation. We're going to try to limit uh, stopping in, in big groups. So please just make sure that you, you help keep everyone safe and you practice social distancing as well while on campus. Items that we would normally share in the classrooms, pens, markers, food, water, any items from the, the teacher's desk, these are things that we are going to ask uh, that you, you please have your own individual items, uh, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, if you do use an item that that's shared, uh, just make sure that we go through and we get it cleaned off when it is done being used. These are the items that we're going to ask you to bring each day, Vipers. We're going to ask you, obviously, to wear your mask. Make sure you have your own water bottle because the water fountains will not be uh, working in their normal. The spouts won't be working, but the bottle filling stations will be. So you can go through and, and fill up your bottle uh, throughout the day. Make sure that you have your, your charged Chromebook and uh, your charger every single day because you even in person, there will be still some some online components and uh, work that you'll you'll need to use just like in normal uh, circumstances with that Chromebook. Make sure you bring some earphones that'll work with your Chromebook. Uh, any other personal school supplies, such as writing utensils, um, uh, art materials, or anything that you might need for a project. And then any personal class-specific items that you need, those will also be something that you might need to bring. Any personal hygiene items or, or clothes, if you're in a PE class, uh, you will not be able to store them in a locker. So. Uh, make sure that you bring something to, to keep these items in, such as a, a bag or, or be able to keep them in your uh, duffel bag. Um, but again, these are the items that we're going to ask that you bring each day and so that we can uh, limit the sharing of items at, on, on a daily basis. Our schedule for today and for tomorrow looks like this, that we will start off in advisory, just like we're, we're doing now. This will be our, our, our checkpoint for um, each of these first two days whether you're on the Viper Black or the Viper Gold schedule. Then we go into fourth block and fifth block. Then we will go into our, our lunch slash advisory portion of the day. So you'll have two advisories today and tomorrow. If you are on a lunch, after fifth block, you go directly to the cafeteria and you eat, and then you'll go to your advisor's class. If you're in B lunch, you'll go directly to advisory first, and then after advisory, you will be released for B lunch. And then we'll close the day with six block. As we move forward, so starting on Thursday, because remember all students will continue to work off campus on Wednesdays, but on Thursdays uh, and, and Friday and then every other day in the quarter, this will be our, our schedule where we'll have um, the 110 minute blocks 
Uh, we will begin at 8.30 and then we'll close at 3.25, but it'll follow something similar to what we used uh, today, where you will start with uh, fourth block, then fifth block, and then lunch and advisory are tied together. Then we close with sixth block. Remember when you're in the classroom that we have masks on at all times. All students will be on screen or in person during the first 10 minutes of class and the last 10 minutes of class. So regardless if you are at home or if you're in the building, first 10 and last 10 of each class, those are opportunities that you need to be on camera so that you can get the instruction for the day, uh, what you'll be working on, and also for attendance purposes. And then the, the close uh, out class as well. Um, that's why we will, we will bring you back for those final 10 minutes if you are still working from home. Um, and then also, too, we'll ask for your help to wipe down uh, the seat and desk when you enter the room. So we've changed classes. We've already sprayed things down. When you come in, we'll have you pick up a paper towel and wipe down um, your specific seat uh, and desk, and then we'll get, get class started. When you enter the building, we're going to ask that we, you use the West Cafeteria, the North Cafeteria, or the East Cafeteria entrances. Uh, remember, with parking, Parking in the, we'll have students park in the west lot. It is free parking during uh, quarter two, so you do not need a pass and you do not need to pay for a pass at this time. Uh, but we'll have you, before you enter the building, please complete that health screener. And then once you get into the building, please go directly to the first block class, unless you are stopping to get some breakfast. And if that's the case, you can stop and get breakfast, eat in the cafeteria, and then we'll have you go straight to that class. Our passing periods are, are, again, they're going to be five minutes long, so plenty of time to move through the building and get to the next class. But we are going to ask again, we don't have you stop and congregate in the mall area or in the middle of the wings. Please uh, be moving and talking as you go, but make your way to that next classroom as quickly as you can. Bathroom procedures. We are going to limit uh, occupancy in the bathrooms to two students at a time, uh, and our, our security team will help us. Uh, monitor the bathroom so that we are uh, in, enforcing that. Uh, we'll also have a, a kind of a lineup uh, standpoint of sorts uh, so that you are able to kind of space yourself appropriately as you're waiting to go to the bathroom. We will utilize an electronic uh, pass throughout the building. We'll utilize this through QR codes that you can either use with your phone or with your uh, computer. Uh, you'll do the QR code as you are leaving the class. And then you'll also do the QR code when you return to class. And our bathrooms will be closed from time to time because we have hourly cleaning by our on-site uh, cleaning crew uh, during the day. So bathrooms, will will be asking for your patience on that, but we know uh, we can make this work and keep everybody safe. So this is how we will we will make it work. Okay, so a couple questions. You know, what, what happens if I have been exposed to somebody with COVID uh, or I have had posit uh, a positive test? When can I return to school? So as a student, if you are, in, or, or anyone, if you're in close contact with anyone who exhibits symptoms or if you test positive, you must quarantine for 14 days and have no fever for 24 hours and an improvement of symptoms. What if I have exposure or close contact and I don't get a test? When can I return to school? If you are in close contact with anyone who exhibits symptoms or tests positive and you do not get a test, you must quarantine for 14 days. You'll have no fever for 24 hours and an improvement of symptoms. And if you have questions on that, please email an administrator and we can help you out with that. And then finally, what if I have symptoms but I have a negative test? If you have symptoms and your test comes back negative, you may return to school when you have no fever for 24 hours and your symptoms have improved. So those are just some of the, the quick uh, procedures we wanted to cover with everybody. Um, you know, not necessarily the, the most uh, fun topic, but we do feel it's important that we put these measures in place to keep you safe. Because, you know, we, we did a great job, Vipers, in our remote quarter four and our remote, remote quarter one. But at the end of the day, we want to get everybody back in the building. We miss having our students here. So that's where we are so excited to have our, our groups back in right now. And we're going to work as hard as we can to keep everybody health and healthy and safe as we progress into this quarter and beyond. So as we move forward, as I bring this to a close, just want to tell everybody, again, we're excited to have you. If you have questions, 
please reach out to your advisor or please reach out to one of uh, your assistant principals or an administrator or a counselor and we can get them answered for you because we know some things are going to be new and there are going to be some things that uh, you might have some questions on it. We want to get those answers to you. So definitely feel free to, to shoot us an email or, or grab one of us as we're walking through the hall if you have a question. But we want to try to make this as great of a quarter as possible. So Please keep your masks on. Please keep everybody safe and just enjoy each day that we have because it's exciting to be here back in the building to have students on campus once again. And hopefully we get to a point at some point in the school year where we get all of our students back on. So welcome back, everybody. Let's make it a great quarter, whether you're here in the building or if you're at home. We're going to make it a, a great uh, quarter two and a great rest of semester one. Guys, I'm very excited for you guys to be in person and uh, see your little faces. So, welcome back to Toronto soon. Hey guys, uh, can't wait to have you guys all back. Uh, looking forward to a great year. Welcome back, everyone. I can't wait to see you. We're going to have a great quarter. Welcome back to Toronto. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. I hope you guys are excited to start off this next quarter slash semester with me because we are finally getting some normality. Uh, welcome back, Vipers. I can't wait to see you guys. This is my lab, your classroom. Um, remember to be the change that you want to see and mask up Vipers. Welcome back, Vipers. We're excited to have you in class uh, next semester. Go. Hola, chicos. Bienvenidos, Vipers, a Español 1 y 2. Nos vemos. Welcome back, Vipers. Yay. Welcome back, Grotto. Can't wait to see you all soon. Welcome back, kids. Good to see you. Welcome back, Vipers. I'm the Chef Kirk. Can't wait to see Welcome you. Welcome back to Verona. We're excited to have you back. Best place on earth. Hey, Vipers. Welcome back. Welcome back to students to Verago High School. We are so excited to get to know you, and we're here to support you. Welcome back, Vipers. I can't wait to see you. So excited to get you here on October 12th. Welcome back, Vipers. Hi, Vipers. Welcome back. Welcome back, Verado students. Welcome back, Vipers. Can't wait to see you. Welcome back, Vipers. Can't wait to make music with you. Welcome back, Vipers. Welcome back, Verona. I'm excited to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back, Vipers. Welcome back, Vipers. Welcome back, Vipers. Welcome back, Vipers. Bienvenidos, Vipers. I'm waiting for you. Welcome back, Vipers. Welcome back, Vipers. Welcome back, Vipers. Hola, chicos. Bienvenidos de regreso a la escuela. Everybody, it's Mr. Kulako. I'm looking forward to uh, getting back to school and working with you guys in person. And this is Miss Webster. I cannot wait to see you um, in person and also those who are virtually meet my new students for second quarter, first quarter. You guys rocked. Um, it was awesome. You guys did a good job. Um, and I cannot um, wait to see you for next quarter and to finish off the year, especially my seniors. Yeah. Welcome back, Vipers. We can't wait to meet you. Welcome back, Vipers. I can't wait to see you all in the building. Vipers, welcome back to school. Welcome back, Vipers. Can't wait to meet you. Hey, Vipers, welcome back. Great to see you. Welcome back, Vipers. We're super excited to see you. It's going to be an awesome uh, next uh, nine weeks through the semester and the rest of the year. Welcome back, baby. Welcome back, Vipers. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome back, we're excited to have you. Hi everybody, welcome back. I can't wait to see you. Hey kids, welcome back and don't forget to have your cereal in the morning. Hey Vipers, welcome back. We are so glad to have you here. That's it, we're gonna turn it over to your advisors right now and we're again just excited to have you back. So stay safe, stay healthy and stay connected Vipers. We're excited to see you here in the building. Take care everybody. Welcome back to One Verado.